Hello beautiful people, I hope you're all well. I've been so inspired by well-being content recently. It's been my favorite to make and it just motivates me to keep on track. So I want to take you guys along on sort of like a self-care morning in my life. I want you to come and get ready with me. I'm going to show you guys in depth my favorite body care, skincare and makeup products at the moment. I don't usually go too in depth with this and so you have all been asking for it. Before I say any more though, I am so over the moon to say that this video is in collaboration with Look Fantastic. So all the products I use in this video can be found on their website. Look Fantastic is your easy go-to destination for all beauty products and you can find things for any occasion. I've been shopping from Look Fantastic since I was a teenager so this is definitely a pinch me moment. If you see any products you like the look of in this video make sure you use the Look Fantastic link in my description bar as well as my little discount code for you guys to save some extra coin. For this video I thought it'd be fun to try the TikTok trend, the clean girl aesthetic. For those of you who don't know what the hell I'm on about, for me this trend is about just like feeling fresh, being confident in more natural makeup, maximizing like your skincare routine. It's not about copying anyone or trying to be someone you're not. Similar to that girl trend I suppose, it's about being the best version of you. Make sure whenever you're inspired by trends that you are doing it for the right reason, to make you happy or to just feel good. Okay now we're up. We're hydrated. I am lighting my favorite candle at the moment from Neom. Oh my god, this candle, the scent of this makes me feel so calm. It's like the perfect spa candle. I have recently lightened my hair and usually when you do that bleach your hair it comes with damage so I've had to take a bit of extra care, extra step to give it that loving care it needs. Um, today I just wanted to put it in that kind of clean aesthetic girl bun which is like all sleek back model of duty kind of look and put it in a hair mask which I don't normally do I normally like sleep in my hair masks this hairstyle never normally works for me unless my hair is really greasy or now I know in a mask anyway my favorite product for a hair mask is the very popular Olaplex number no. three this nourishes my hair like nothing else once my hair is washed I like to go in with Olaplex number no. seven, the oil, I find it just adds hydration back into my hair and it's how I keep my hair looking somewhat decent in between washes. Okay, let's talk body care. My steps are very, very simple. I have recently been loving this cleanser from La Roche Posay. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but it is one of my favorite skincare brands. I believe this can be used on your face too but it does a really good job at like keeping my skin clear. When I was younger, I used to get like uh, chest and back acne. Not so much anymore, but this just feels like it is really cleaning your skin without being too harsh or stripping anything. Then I don't do this every day, maybe a couple times a week just to feel like extra squeaky clean. And so that is using a body scrub. I love this one from Ritual. It smells divine. What I do is very simple. Just after showering, I want to get moisture back into my skin. So I have found my favorite body cream it is the Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro. This is a same when it comes to making your skin feel firmer and above all what fits with the clean girl aesthetic is that it just smells so good before we get into skincare i wanted to make myself a little morning coffee just take it slow i know you guys love these little coffee montages so since it's getting warmer here in london i've actually been loving making iced coffees in the morning and i feel like i finally got it down i've been using oatly cream as coffee creamer because here in the uk we just tend to go for milk sometimes i want something a bit creamier and oh my god go to your nearest store buy this oatly cream and then thank me later Okay, no doubt about it, I'm most excited for this bit. I've been testing skincare products for the longest time and I feel like I have finally worked out what products work for my skin. I don't do all of these steps every day, this is just for self-care mornings, but as always, I'll start with cleansing. This is the Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm from Clinique and it's the best at melting away your makeup. Obviously, this is in the morning, so I only use a bit of this, but when it's the end of the day and I'm taking off makeup, I'll usually double cleanse with this as my oil-based cleanser and another as a water-based cleanser. Tip is to foam it up in your hands and 
and then don't just massage it in for 10 seconds make sure you go around your whole face for a good minute and also get up in your hairline i then use these little microfiber towels to dry off my face next step is toner i'm not sure if toner makes the biggest difference but it does feel really refreshing and it helps with removing excess oil this one is my favorite it's from la roche posay it just feels really gentle on the skin serum this is my favorite serum ever it's the one from bare minerals this is designed to strengthen your skin barrier and to help with anti-aging it leaves your skin feeling so plump the ordinary is another fave skincare brand of mine i'm actually not using much of it today but i have tried a lot of their products and so i'm using the ascorbic acid to give my skin some vitamin c i've recently learned how important vitamin c is to include in your skincare regime this helps to brighten my face it targets hyperpigmentation and then the alpha arbutin agent helps to even up my skin tone i've tried many an under eye patch let me tell you, these ones from Beauty Pro are my favorite. I love putting these on in the morning. They make my under eye area look so much more awake. I've recently been trying out some facial tools using a roller and a gua sha. I have not been using these long enough to see a difference. However, they do feel amazing on my skin and I can definitely tell that they make my face less puffy. It helps improve your skin's elasticity and also remember to wash your hands before and after skincare. I love this soap from Aesop. Self-care calls for a yummy breakfast, a filling and nutritious breakfast, so we're having oatmeal. You guys have seen this recipe so many times in my videos, so I'm just going over it quickly. But the two little tips I have, in case you're new, are to add cacao powder to make it chocolatey, just something different, and also banana to make it creamier. Clean Girl aesthetic is all about having a minimalistic outfit, kind of neutral colors, which pretty much is my everyday wear anyway. I'm trying to get in the habit of taking supplements. These apple cider vinegar supplements from Goalie are packed with B12 and B9. This helps with your immune system and makes you feel less tired just going about your day-to-day -day life. They also taste like apple, not vinegar, which is good. <laughs> okay, the last part of my get ready with me, makeup. But before we jump into that, I just need to finish off with a couple of skincare steps after using my eye patches for about 20 minutes. I love this moisturizer from Kiehl's. This is so lightweight in texture and it absorbs into the skin quickly and easily. You cannot forget sunscreen, it's so important. This is UV50 and the best thing about this one from La Roche Posay is that it doesn't leave a white cast. It's non-greasy and completely invisible. I want my makeup look to be way more natural than how I used to have it, more glowy, more dewy. So I've been using this CC cream from it cosmetics the best thing is that this doesn't have like a weird sticky feeling or a weird smell like some cc and bb creams do i love a cream bronzer for a more natural sunkissed look this nude sticks one I think that's how you say it. it melts so nicely into the skin and is really easy to blend i use it all around my forehead and also my cheekbones the clinique chubby stick has been my favorite blush recently it gives your cheeks that glow and is like the perfect rosy look famous Laura Mercier translucent powder. This literally makes your skin look airbrushed. It never looks cakey. I love to lightly bake with this just to set everything in place. I then brush it off with the Laura Mercier brush. Soap brows have got to be my favorite brow look. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. It stays on so well and it doesn't leave that annoying white residue that some other products do. I then lightly fill in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Pomade. To help that blush color really pop, I go over it with some Laura Mercier blush. And also my favorite highlighter in the whole world. This one's from Laura Mercier. I'm realizing now how many times I've said Laura Mercier in the past minute. I use a lot of Laura Mercier. So I'm giving my eyelashes a bit of a break from extensions at the moment, which does make me feel a little bit insecure because they are looking very short to me. But this sky high mascara from Maybelline that completely went viral on TikTok is the only mascara that actually works for my eyelashes. <laughs> Lips, I love this combo of this little NYX lip liner in the shade Free Spirit with a gorgeous lip gloss from Laura Mercier. And there you have it, the clean girl aesthetic. Again, this was just a bit of fun, a morning of self-care. You can't forget the gold jewelry and of course some fresh perfume. This one's from Calvin Klein. It's just perfect for every day. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. Remember to check out Look Fantastic. If any of these products grabbed you, you can go and shop from there. And yeah, this video was just really fun to make. Remember to be kind to yourself, treat yourself to self-care, Send you guys all my love and I'll see you in the next one.